up YouTube. So I took two burrito shells and stuck them together with some bacon grease. Oh, speaking of grease. Blow my trolls a kiss. In the middle of this fucking big ass burrito, I got some uh, chili beans, a little bit of this army brand chopped pork patties, some of this cured pork liver. So we got pork patties and pork liver. And a couple of snails. I tried the snails. I actually like the taste of snails. They're a little salty. Trying to record the video for making this burrito was a fucking disaster. Now after I layered everything, all four of these meats, into this burrito... I added a small pinch of crushed nacho cheese Doritos and a sprinkle of sharp cheddar cheese. And after I layered the middle of that burrito with everything, I added a sprinkle of the secret aardvark red scorpion fiery hot sauce. I tried a lick of it, it's definitely spicy. We got some country crock original. You want to like preheat your tortilla shells so they're a little bit more softer and easier to roll with. But if you overheat the shells, they get a little bit crispy. So then when you try to fold a burrito, motherfucker just falls apart, man. And people are so used to me doing cooking videos anymore. They don't care how gross it is. They almost expect it at this point. Like, oh, Cobra got canned snails from his fa YouTube fans. That is so fucking weird. Why would you? I tried it. They're a little salty. They taste like the ocean. But I like canned fish and that sort of thing. So, you know, I have the... Uh, Oven preheated to 350. I'm gonna make this snail stuffed burrito. Bake it. So the last cooking video I attempted to make a burrito like I've been making the last couple of times. Well, the problem with that is, before sticking it in the oven, I've been known to smear, like, the country crock on top of the shell and then hit that spread with some of that garlic powder like I've been doing in the last couple of burrito videos. I forgot to add the garlic powder, so I'm going to rebaste it with a little bit of that garlic seasoning. Now, once this chimichanga gets crispy enough in the oven, it's not going to need the toothpicks. So I'm going to watch it like a hawk. Before, yeah, we don't need a whole lot of that garlic powder to correct it. Let's add some flavor to it. Now see, when I went to, when I realized my mistake, I got up quickly enough and I spilt my Bud Light on the floor. I did not freak out. I cleaned it up. I took a deep breath. And I'm like, you still got a couple in the fridge, so no big deal. But I feel kind of like a prat for spilling it, so. I guess to add to the cooking video, we're gonna smother the now freshly buttered burrito with all the snails and all the meats 
There wasn't that much Bud Light Platinum left in the goddamn burrito. Like, maybe like that much left. You know, it's so, okay, we added beer to it. We fixed our basting mistake by making more flavor for it. Fucking ridiculous. At the start of this journey, I had a mixture of E and J apple, sour apple mixed with spicy pickled vodka, and some cherry limeade. Shooters mixed with the watermelon. G Fuel. Here's the burrito. At the start of the burrito video, I had that drink combo. I got confident in making it. I knew what I wanted, I had the meats. However, I overcooked my stuffing burritos. And that's what fucked me on the recipe. However, I was barely able to fix it by wrapping the burritos. With two more burritos. All that buttery goodness. You see a little bit of snail poking out right there. I'm gonna think it's a little bit more crispy on the, on the top there, but not for too much longer. I'm gonna think it's a little bit more crispy in the oven, but not by much. You now that shell's nice and crispy. All right, and then I add the final touches. Some of those Doritos, some of that cheese. I'm only grossed out by it because of the way I folded it and the way I executed it, but I was able to fix it. YouTube. So about the nacho cheese Doritos on top. Just a light sprinkle. Looking delicious. Check it out, YouTube. I ate the other half of that burrito. Super delicious dudes and dudettes. Right there, you see the chunk of snail meat. The, uh, the, the pork liver was like a meat paste. And you had chunks of that pork patty from the uh, Army brand. I ate the other half of this burrito already, man. Super fucking good. But right there, you can see that's where the snail's at. Them canned snails are delicious. Overall, YouTube, I would definitely remake this chimichanga again these uh, burritos I make are fucking massive and if you didn't tell people there were snails in it and they ate it they'd, they would say it tastes just like a regular fried burrito surprisingly really tasty man it don't even taste like snails it just tastes like a stuffed burrito with it's been deep fried and yes, sir. I ate the other half of this burrito already, so I'm already kind of full. Definitely a tasty little uh, deep fried burrito. 
And it's not overdone either. It's not, not overdone at all. Very tasty. Mmm. Get by that snail. Mm-hmm. Packed with protein and flavor. You can't even tell there's snails in there to be honest. It just tastes like a meat burrito with like a little bit of hot sauce <coughs> and some beans. I've been on a, like a chimichanga craze lately and uh, I discovered the, the way to do it. Definitely want to smear your burrito in like a margarine or a butter and then hit the top of that with your favorite seasoning. Maybe snails are not your forte, so you add whatever the fuck you want to add to the middle of these burritos. And when they're done right, they're good.